The Torah commands us, do not make yourselves disgusting. As we've mentioned, this is referring to when someone feels the urge to relieve himself and he postpones doing so. But now for men to postpone, there's an additional reason, where the dangers of doing so can actually impair his ability to bear children. The Rambam writes that anyone who postpones is guilty of making his body and soul filthy and the habit can cause further illness. And again, this person will be liable in heaven for not protecting his health the way he should. Anyone that possesses the fear of heaven will make sure to tend to his needs as soon as he or she feels the urge. It should be done immediately and nothing should get in the way of doing so. Some people, when they're in the middle of doing something, give priority to whatever it is that they're doing first, before attending to their needs. They hold it and wait for a good stopping point, then they go do what they need to do. The Ben Ishchai says that this is absolutely foolish of a person. They shouldn't hold it for a moment. They should stop what they're doing and tend to their needs immediately. The Kabbalists warn that by not relieving oneself damages his soul specifically when it comes down to maintaining clean and holy thoughts. And by not having the ability to have clean and holy thoughts in his mind severs the connection a person has with the Shem. The Ben Ishchai says that if a person is capable of postponing for 72 minutes, it doesn't fall into the category of urgency. This doesn't necessarily cause a person health issues and isn't so much of an issue. He says the prohibition applies when someone has to hold it by force and stop himself from going. But in this case, where he would need to perform the opposite and force himself to relief, this is the 72 minute window that he is talking about. The Torah says there shall not be anyone sterile among you. The Talmud teaches that a man has two tubes, one for urine and one for procreation. These tubes are adjacent to one another. If by holding oneself will cause one of these tubes to become ruptured, causing urine to enter the pathway of the other, this can cause a person to become sterile. The Talmud says that many of the scholars actually became sterile because they refused to leave the Bet Midrash while their teachers were lecturing. With this being said, it leads us into the next law describing sacrificing time. Chesed Lalafim wrote, What is our time for if not to do which is proper in God's eyes? It says that for some people, it takes a long time. Others can go several times a day. And even if it takes time away from a person's learning, the law to relieve oneself still has to be observed. Doing so is considered a mitzvah.